Hello and greetings to all. This is our experiment and our main aim is to explain how surface tension and contact angles helps a coating spread evenly onto a surface. So, we begin by taking three different solutions. A. Food coloring. B. Blue ink. And C. Blue paint. Our next step would be to take a paintbrush and dip it into the solution A. Now, if we were to paint with this solution, we, we could observe the formation of droplets. This is because the contact angle of solution A is greater than 90 degree. So to conclude, we cannot use solution A to paint a surface. For experimentation's sake, we are now going to take a pipette and drop one droplet of solution B, that is the ink, onto the plastic plate. What we observe is that the drop just runs freely, rather flows onto the surface. It does not form beads, it does not stick. That means the contact angle in case of solution B is exactly zero. Last but not the least, we repeat the experiment with solution C. We take a paintbrush and dip it into solution C. When we take the paintbrush out, what we observe is that the paint drips nicely into the container. It also sticks onto the bristles of the paintbrush. This indicates that the cohesive forces of solution C are weaker than the adhesive forces. If we were to paint with this solution, we can see that it forms a nice layer of uniform thickness. So, in conclusion, we paint with solution C. This is because the contact angle of solution C is in the range 0 to 90 degrees. So, from our experiment, we can conclude that contact angle plays a very important role in the choice of a coating. From our experiment and the three different solutions that we have used, we come to the conclusion that C is the right choice for coating. So let's talk about the application. Paint on building to give protection against weather. Coating on tin to prevent food spoilage. Painting on submarine to prevent rusting of submarine body.